Hello, I'm Mrs. J, and today we're going to work on rate times time equals distance. When you're talking with rate times time equals distance, the rate is a change, and it will have two units. Make this one miles per hour, um, inches per second, and so it will have a unit. Time is exactly what that means. T is time, and it can be hours, minutes. It does not have to be a specific one. And D is distance. So if we're looking at this problem, if you travel 60 miles per hour for an hour, how far have you gone? Well, we're using rate times time as distance. And this is a rate, miles per hour. Hour is time. And how far have we gone? We're looking for distance. And so we take 60, because that's our R times our time, and that will give us our distance. So we went 60, and it's miles per hour, so it would be 60 miles. About how far is that um, in an hour and a half? When you're doing fractions, an hour and a half, one half we know is 0.5, so you could go with 1.5 or you can take 2 times 1 plus the numerator. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 on top is 3 halves. So you could use 1.5 or 3 halves, either one of the two. Our rate was the same, 60. Our time is 3 halves. And you can divide first. 60 divided by 2 is 30 times the 3 is 90 miles. Let's look at the next one. If you are traveling 40 miles per hour and need to get home, which is 130 miles away, can you get there in 3 hours? Well, we know this is rate, because it's miles per hour. 30 miles away, that's distance. And they gave us T, three hours. So they gave us all three. What we need to do is pick two of them and see if it matches the third. Well, it's easiest to just multiply first. So we'll use the rate and the time and see if it equals the distance. So our rate is 40 times our time, which is three. Well, that gives us 120 uh, miles. So three hours is not enough time. We'll take more than three hours. So um, it would it would not be able to get there. But how long would it take us? So if we do want to find out how much time it will take to go 130 miles, that means we're looking for t. So we'd have 40t equals the 130 miles that we need to go. And to solve that, since this is multiplied, we would divide by the 40. And 130 divided by 40 is 3.25. So it will take 3.25 hours to go home or get home. Let's try one more. Now this one, notice they want miles per hour is what we have, and then we're going to meters in a minute. So it, it instead of finding like a distance or something, we're finding, we're just changing the rates. And so you could use proportions, because we have 0 .075 miles, and per means divide, one hour. And we want to convert that to meters per minute. So miles, they gave us it. If not, we would Google it. 
and we want to put mile in the bottom so they will cancel because you cancel one from the top and one from the bottom 1600 meters well now we have meters we have meters per hour but we want meters per minute we know that one hour is 60 minutes now you just need to decide which one will be on the top well hour needs to cancel and it's on the bottom so hour over here needs to be on top one hour is 60 minutes and then the hours cancel so we have meters per minute multiply across 1600 times 0.075 is 120 meters over 1 times 1 times 60 is 60 minutes the zeros cancel 12 divided by 6 is 2 meters per minute so it'll take two meters per minute. And that's everything on rate.